okay so welcome back and in today's session on the basic geometrical ideas we are going to discuss a very important concept and that will be the polygons so now in order to understand what these polygons are let us take a, a few examples of some geometrical figures so let us say that I form a figure I think I should this is not a straight line I wanted it to be a straight line yes so let us say that I am forming this figure then we can make one more figure here let us say this is another figure figure number two so this figure we have made up of four line segments it has four corners this is made up of three line segments and it has three corners then we can make one more such figure doesn't really matter what type of figure it is as long as it is made up of straight line segments then another figure one could be like this and then just for sake of change now we will try to use some figure which has uh, let's say a curve like this okay so we have this various figures here let us call this as figure number one figure number two figure number three four and five now what are the differences between these figures uh, I mean if if somebody asked you can you choose the odd one out which one would you select you would definitely go for this figure as the odd one and why is this figure the odd one that is because if we have a close look at all these five figures the only figure which has curved lines or which has a curved boundary is figure number five right so this is an odd figure now these figures one two three and four right they have a very special and an observable characteristic and that is that all these are made up entirely of line segments these are simply made of line segments only that is one of the things worth keeping in mind. So now this brings us to the mathematical definition of polygons. So polygons are defined as a simple closed, this is very important what we mean by closed figure simple close figure made up entirely of line segments this is the definition of a polygon so this is the definition of a polygon now having said that let me just emphasize on a few words here the first one is that it is a simple figure what do we mean by a simple figure if you recollect our earlier definition on simple figure it means that these figures do not close do not cross themselves so that is why it's simple so if you see here in figure one two three and four there is no crossing okay and then it has to be closed closed means that you have an interior and an exterior which is separated by a clear cut boundary okay and the third thing is made up entirely of line segments so these are the three important characteristics of polygons they are simple closed and made up entirely of line segments so now let us go on and detail and detail the other characteristics of a polygon so first let us take the figure number four here and we will use this for example now let me denote the various corners of this figure I'll put this as a 
B, C and D. So please note now we will be taking this figure number 4 to study the further characteristics of the polygons. Of course they apply to all the other three figures as well but just for the sake of simplicity we have taken up. So the first thing that we study is the sides of the polygon. Now what do you mean by sides? If you just look closely here the line segment AB, BC, CD and DA these four line segments which I am highlighting here these line segments they form the polygon they are called the sides so sides are line segments forming the polygon they are called the sides now let us take the another characteristic what else do we see different now we see that there are four corners here right these four corners for this polygon so first we saw that we have sides then we have these four corners so I can name these corners as a B C and D so what is happening at this corner so we see that a B the line segment A to B and the line segment from D to A or A to D they meet at this point similarly these two line segments they meet at the point B and then these two line segments they meet at point C and similarly the line segment D C and A D they meet at point D so these points where the line segments meet are called as vertex or vertex is a singular word and vertices will be the plural word so what is a vertex so vertex is meeting point of a pair of sides called a vertex now the third one the third definition that we see is that when if you see again the sides AB and BC right let me call this as again I can denote it as side 1 that is be called as the side 2 side 3 and side 4 I mean I can so uh, just to uh, say here that the four sides here are line segments AB BC CD and DA and similarly the vertices in this case are A, B, C and D these are the four vertices now we move on to the adjacent sides as the name implies adjacent sides are nothing but those two sides which have a common endpoint that is any two lines which meet at the same endpoint so in this case a b b c that is side 1 and 2 they are adjacent sides similarly 2 and 3 are adjacent sides 3 and 4 are adjacent sides and 4 and 1 are adjacent sides 1 and 3 is not adjacent sites similarly 2 and 4 they are not adjacent to each other why because they do not have a common endpoint so uh, that is the definition of the adjacent sides okay now having discussed about the adjacent sides i mean just let me uh, write the definition here these are the sides with common endpoints these are the sides now following the concept of adjacent sides is the concept of adjacent vertices now this is also pretty straightforward 
if you understand the concept of adjacent sides now if you see that the vertices C and B right they are endpoints of this line segment B and C similarly the vertices A and B they are the endpoints of the line segments A B similarly the vertices A and D are the endpoints of line segment A D or D whatever you like to call right so now the endpoints of the same side of a polygon are called adjacent vertices the endpoints of the same side okay so in this case let me just write the definition for you endpoints of same 